All right, so the question was, what weighs more, a pound of fat or a pound of muscle? Well, that question in itself answers itself, right? So one pound of fat equals one pound of muscle. One pound is one pound. Now the difference is, is what's denser and versus what has more volume, right? So a pound of fat has more volume versus a pound of muscle has more density. So a pound of muscle might look like a small brick versus a pound of uh, fat might look like a, a big Cheeto bag, right? So it's density is the difference. The other side of it too is caloric need, right? Uh, a pound of muscle burns three times the calories that a pound of fat does. So imagine that you have 30 pounds of fat and it just burns that versus 30 pounds of muscle burns three times that. So 90, 90 times more, right? So um, there's a, is that, <laughs> that actually worked out? Uh, but you get what I'm saying, right? So three times the amount of caloric kcals it's actually burning. The, the other side of that too is that I'm looking at my, my body fat as a body mass to body fat ratio. So if you're in a situation where, for example, I used to deal with a lot of women that were in this like skinny fat area where they would be 20% body fat at 100 pounds. And so if you look at that, the math tells you that they're 80 pounds of lean body mass and 20 pounds of fat. If that individual puts on 20 pounds of mass, they just dropped about 5% body fat. They go from actually being somewhat doughy, 20% body fat, dumping it down to 16, 15% body fat, which in turn almost makes them athletic. Three, three more percent, four more percent, now you're almost, almost getting too masculine because your body fat ratio is below 12%, and now you're looking a little bit more square jaw, you're starting to actually look more like a masculine trait because 10 to, 5% body fat is more of a masculine situation where if feminine is gonna needing a little bit more body fat on their body, so therefore it's gonna need that like 12 to 16%. And that 12%, when you dump below there, you start actually losing menstrual cycles, missing menstrual cycles. So again, the point of this story is that I can increase lean body mass, which in turn, not lose one pound of fat, and change my body fat percentage based off that alone. And males, I mean, you should be using that to your advantage. So most of the time, a male in his mid thirties actually needs to gain 10 to 15 pounds of lean body mass before he actually needs to lose body fat. He needs to increase the lean body mass in order to increase his metabolism, which in turn increases his ability to burn. And then he starts actually becoming more athletic. So there's where like a big misnomer comes into play where what does it look like to actually start eating cleaner, looking better, feeling better through building lean body mass and then in turn starting to lose body fat, all right?